This video is recorded to help my students to understand how to estimate a population mean when sigma is low. Uh, when sigma is low, we will estimate the margin of error by using this formula. This formula involved with a standard normal distribution. Pay attention in the previous video, I talked about how to estimate population mean when sigma not low. When sigma not low, the formula will change accordingly. Then we'll use the student t distribution and the sigma will be replaced by s, which is the sample, standard deviation of the sample. So let us first list what we know. We know sigma, which is population standard deviation equal 4.5. We know the confidence level, which is 0 0.95, because he asked you to construct a 90% confidence interval. So we know alpha. Alpha will be calculated as 1 minus confidence level. So 1 minus D11. That's give you 0 0.05. Then N is the sample size. We can use count. Count the data from A9 to, if you go down, is A37. So A9 to A37. You totally have 29 sample data. Now, notice to use this formula, the requirement is that either the population is normally distributed or the sample size is greater than 30. So now uh, we assume the population is normally distributed. Okay, so the sample size uh, is only 29 is fine. Now, let's say the x hat, which is a mean of the sample. So we use the Excel functionality, function average, so from A9 to A37. So the average is 72.6 miles per hour. Now we need to calculate Z alpha over 2. According to your book explanation, Z alpha over 2 is a Z score when the probability uh, is greater than or equal to 1 minus alpha over 2. So we will use normal standard uh, distribution inverse function. Uh, you need to give a probability. Probability is 1 minus alpha over 2. Alpha is in D12. Alpha over 2 is D12 minus 2. So you calculate this, you got the Z score is 1.96 about. So now we calculate the margin of error by using this formula. So at first equal, this score is uh, in D16, <coughs> excuse me, multiply sigma, which is in D10, then divide by square root, N, which is in D14, okay? Now, then you hit the inter K, then this will give you the margin of error. Now let's double check, you will use this score, multiply sigma divided by square root of n. That's correct. Okay. Now, let's calculate the upper limit of the confidence interval. That will equal x hat, which is the mean of the sample located in D15, plus the margin of error, which is D18. Then, the lower limit will equal x hat, which is D15, minus uh, margin of error, which is 18. So that's 70.98. So our 95% confidence interval will be from 70.98 to 74.26. So we can conclude that we have 95%, we have 95% confidence that the actual population mean will fall in within this confidence interval. So basically, we can say uh, population mean speed is not, uh, on average, the population did not, uh, the people did not drive over the speed because since the speed limit is 75 miles per hour, your whole confidence interval is below than 75 miles per hour. Okay, uh, if you have any questions, please send me email. See you next time.